Now, as some of you know, I'm going on tour with my band, Jinx, next week, and yeah, it's really... I'm really fortunate to be able to go out and share my art with the world and, like, take a break from life and just hit the road and whatnot, but the real thing that makes tour special, and it's not... it's not girls, like, people always think it's like, oh, it's pussy fest on tour, and that's, like, that's why you guys love it so much, and... It's not definitely not the fucking money. Like, I'm not gonna be one of those guys who, like, who complains about how much money they're not making on tour. I mean, that seems like a trend now, isn't it? Like, people go online and bitch about how they're not making money on tour. Like, bands way bigger than any band that I've ever been in complaining about it. Probably because they spent all their money up their fucking nose, but that's not, that's not what this is about. The real thing that makes tour great, and this isn't me trying to be wacky or some shit, like, this is the real fucking truth, and you can verify this with anybody you know that goes on tour. The real best part about tour is all the fucking food. And it's not, like, it's not catering, like, the catering at any given show is 9 times out of 10, it's gonna be a $5 fucking Little Caesars hot and ready. Which is fine, it's fine, like, I'm not, like, fucking... I'm not Metallica, I don't need to, like, not eat pizza, but it doesn't matter because when you hit that road, there's so many places that you have access to that you never, ever have access to. And I mean, I live in New York, like, this is, we have, we might have the best food in the fucking world here in New York, but it's not about what's best, it's about what they have that I don't fucking have. And as soon as we hit that road, I can have it all. First day we're gonna hit, it's gonna be in Pennsylvania, and Pennsylvania is the heart of the fucking... Wawa vs. Sheets War, and people hate when I say this, but I prefer she I like both of them, but I prefer Sheets, because I can do this thing at Sheets where you get this fucking, it's like a grilled chicken salad, but then you can add every fucking ingredient you have, and it's just like a glob of like, disgusting, not disgusting, it's amazing, but it's a glob of amazing, disgusting crap that I could just like shove into my system like a fucking... Katamari of food, and and they have good fries, they got pretzel bun burgers and all that shit, like, Wawa has good sandwiches and they have good coffee, and, like, I'm definitely gonna be eating that, too. I, don't, I think they want, the Gobbler is, like, this Thanksgiving dinner sandwich, I don't think they have that right now. And then, after that, we're hitting Cookout World. When you get to Cookout, it's another place where it's just, like, a Katamari of filth. Oh, that's, like, real. Everything's, like, fried and shit, but it's, like, you're paying, like, a dollar for every kind of thing, like, it's... Cookout is like Noah's fucking arc of killing yourself with food because everything's really fucking cheap and there's so much fucking variety and that's we're gonna die early in this tour. Like it's that's just what's gonna happen. Then I don't remember where Waffle House territory starts, but it's definitely gonna be along those lines. And I'm I'm not a big waffle guy, but their fucking hash browns do. Their fucking hash browns are. The Harris Browns are gonna kill me like everything else on this tour is gonna fucking kill me. They have silly little nicknames for every fucking topping, and I don't remember them ever, and I kind of refuse to use their nicknames because it makes me feel uncomfortable to say them. But I'm gonna get, like, cheese and jalapenos and gravy. I think they have that, like, white country gravy, like, whatever. I don't know what it is. It's just white gravy, but it's good. It's all good. It's all going on the fucking hash browns that I'm gonna eat. It's gonna kill me. I'm gonna get into mellow mushroom territory. Like, Mellow Mushroom is a real fucking sleeper. Like, I feel like a lot of bands don't know about Mellow Mushroom, but... They're... It's very, like, a hippie kind of place. They got pizza and sandwiches and shit. Like, it's like salads, but... It's really... Like, the whole walls are, like, decorated like a drug... Like, it's a mushroom, like a drug mushroom. And they're just dancing around, and they have, like, really... Good, like... I'm, I'm probably gonna get, a, like, a jerk chicken sandwich when I go there. That's what I'm gonna get at Mellow Mushroom. And then, uh... What else we got? We got Whataburger? We're gonna hit fucking Whataburger on this tour. I'm hyped. We're gonna hit fucking Whataburger. Whataburger is kind of... It's okay, but I can't have it here, so I fucking want it. Because it's, it's not here. I feel like the closest thing to Whataburger in New York... Like, their burger is actually... And people disagree with me a lot when I say this, but I feel like their burger is very similar to... Kennedy Fried Chicken slash Palace Fried Chicken. Like, all that, like if you're from New York, you know that fucking shit. Don't, don't sleep on Palace Fried Chicken, that shit... Alright, I've been drunk most of the times I've had it, so I don't really know if it's actually good, but I feel like it's similar. I feel like it's similar. What else? What else we can pass? I think that's it. I think that's all we're hitting this tour. But it's it's gonna be two weeks. Um, the bands we're going out with, Apnea and um, 
trace your steps. I have some of their music playing in the background of this video. Uh, they're a really good band. It's going to be a fun tour. I've been in a, a group chat, like, bitching about everything and sharing memes for the past two weeks. So, I'm going to have the tour dates posted in the, um, in the comments section. And come see me. And let's talk about fucking food. Let's, let me sleep on your fucking floor. Come on tour and fucking... <laughs> wang I don't want to all right I've been saying wang out in all these fucking videos now I don't want to have I don't want to feel like I'm trying too hard to make a catchphrase or some shit because that's corny so I need a, I need a new ending pun for these fucking videos but come see me on fucking tour you fucking assholes